Hello to our viewers and friends. We meet again in the news bulletin of 22 hours channel. Let's take 10 minutes every day to listen to the hosted news and not able even that will happen during the day on 22 hours channel. In today's news, let's go through the noteworthy contents. Extremely hot news is shaking public opinion inside and outside China. It was around 6 p.m. yesterday, a flying saucer suddenly appeared on the Three Gorges Dam, causing chaos among the people who were operating the dam. Soldiers and residents living in the middle and lower reaches of this dam describe the happenings and mysteries of what unidentified objects or aliens hate the Chinese side is doing and say what. We invite you to follow our hot news. Dear listeners, aliens have always been the subject of much doubt and controversy in public opinion. But there is an obvious truth that there are many strange and mysterious things in the vast universe, with the limited understanding of human beings, they will not and will never be discovered, nor will they ever be solved. Enjoy these amazing phenomena. These include UFOs, unidentified objects or aliens. Dear audience, in a related development, at about 6 p.m. yesterday, people stationed at the Three Gorges Dam area saw UFO flying object, an identified flying object flying, hovering over the Three Gorges Dam. It emitted beams of blue, red, and purple light that shot out to the surroundings and the ground. When it was present, the entire plier defense system that was guarding around the dam did not detect anything. And right after detecting and witnessing the intrusion of a foreign object, the dam protection first immediately raised an emergency alarm and was ordered to shoot at the aforementioned object because they feared that this may be a conspiracy or an attack on the Three Gorges Dam can cause this dam to burst, causing enormous consequences for the people of China. A series of missiles and anti-aircraft guns were launched from the ground, illuminating a large area as night fell. But a very strange thing is that the number of missiles and anti-aircraft bullets did not touch the body of the flying saucer, but on the contrary, it was bounced back to the place where it was fired, causing the Chinese air defense system to be destroyed ruined. Killed and wounded nearly three regiments of soldiers defending the Three Gorges Dam of the Chinese side. Then it also released a series of blue, red, purple, yellow-like rainbow colors, causing the water to rise up to tens of meters and overflowing through the dam gates, contributing to the flooding in the coastal areas, middle and lower regions. Fortunately, no people were swept away by the flood, as most of them have been displaced from the dangerous area in recent times. The panic surrounding this scene has reached far beyond the region and has shocked people across China and around the world. There are many inferences made from the people that the Chinese regime may be destroyed in recent times by the will of God and the strength of the Invisible Supreme, or that the Chinese are about to receive the assage chosen by God to change history and lead China back to the glory it once was. Many forecasts indicate that this is a bad omen for China and that Xi Jinping's government is expected to be destroyed soon. It is said that many Chinese Communist Party officials have stood. Sit still. Many party members have deliberately tried to escape abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening in China? People can't help but think of the prediction of fate in the government apparatus that was revealed through the book The Secret Handed Down in Folk Name, Tai Ban Thing. It is known that 10 years ago, China always boasted that the US was a superpower but China was the hegemon. The US can exert influence, but China is the real threat to the world. Ten years later, the whole of China wobbled because of the trade tension between the US and China. Western companies simultaneously withdrew from the mainland. People in the special zones flocked to protest against the government. The rich hugged their money and fled abroad, while the common people held their breath waiting for an uprising to change the dynasty. Eight years after two American economics professors, Mr. Navarro and Mr. Entris, published Death by China, China is like a greedy and invincible giant. It is a China sweeping across Africa, manipulating the Australian market, penetrating Europe and dominating American companies. It is an unruly China in the South China Sea, provoking Japan's territorial waters, encroaching on India's borders, snooping on Russia's borders and squeezing North Korea's territory. Eight years later, leading names in the world such as currency speculators, Mr. Walter or scholar David all agreed that China is about to collapse and the people in the country are anxiously waiting for the day the government will solve the problem. Body. 
Today, China's just a giant that is losing its ground, the economy is in crisis, the officials are corrupt, there are internal struggles, goods are ostracized by the international community, leaders are displaced. Condemned by the world, even Chinese people who go abroad are shunned and isolated. Five years before leading the Communist Party of China, Mr. Xi Jinping exemplified the spirit of the Chinese dream. It was thought that China was about to rise up with the campaign of fighting tigers to kill flies, hunt wolves, and sweep mosquitoes that had been carried out fiercely in the previous few years. Who would have thought that now under Mr. Xi, China is fading away, and it is likely that Mr. Xi will fall? Five years later, the Chinese dream seems to be disillusioned. While the Chinese Communist Party continues to be mired in the US-China trade war, the Chinese Party's supreme leader also finds himself in a dilemma. Ladies and gentlemen, Map Design is a book that is secretly handed down in folklore. It is not known who the author is, nor is it clear when the book has been around. Just know that it used to be considered a book of heaven in the family of a baccalaureate surname Li in the Qing Dynasty. This is a yellowed book, inside are descriptions and drawings, each of which contains a divine plan. Why is it called Map Design? Because the picture in the book is as solid as steel plate, it is because each prophecy in the picture is a predetermined polarity, originally arranged like a nail in an iron board. There is no way it can be changed, because the map design that reveals the fate of the dynasty moreover is extremely accurate, so the dynasties in history considered this to be a forbidden book. However, it is still kept secret in folklore. The last time the book was seen in 1951, but soon after it was confiscated and recovered by the local government. From then on, the story of the book is just a legend ladies and gentlemen. So what does the cartographic prophecy say about China's times today? The last cartouche stacked on the book is said to be a prediction of the fate of the Communist Party of China. The content of the painting is very simple, in the sky between two ravines, four black birds take turns flying from one mountain to the other. But in the middle of the right side of the mountain a white bird was hit by a cliff, blood pouring out. In addition, under the picture is the words Bok Vu Mao Du and Hai, a young man in Sun Jia Bin, meaning a white feathered bird was killed on this side of the mountain. There are five birds in the picture, but the focus is on the last character, the white bird. The white feathered bird is in fifth place. If you look back at the generations of leaders of the Chinese Communist Party since Mao Zedong and Zhang Zemin, you will see that Xi Jinping is the fifth successor. Mr. Mao Zedong, Mr. Deng Xiaoping, Mr. Zhang Zemin, Mr. Hu Jintao and now Mr. Xi Jinping. The 80s of the last century was the reign of Mr. Deng Xiaoping. At that time in Sichuan, a nobleman predicted that after Deng's reign, the fate of the Communist Party of China would be encapsulated in the four words Gypsy Gathers. Later, when Zhang Zemin and Hu Jinao came to power respectively, people were amazed and predicted that Xi Jinping would step into the political arena. No one dared to doubt that prediction. More and it has become reality. But what is surprising is that since the 19th Party Congress in 2017, the Communist Party of China has not identified a successor. On March 11, 2018, China's National People's Congress officially lifted the term limits on the Supreme Leader, allowing Xi Jinping to hold the presidency for life. This means that Xi will most likely be the last leader, which also means that after Xi there will be no more successors and China will disintegrate. China will fall and the world will surely be at peace. Returning to the map we'll see the year and the bird that reveal the fate of the Chinese Communist Party. The first four birds spread their wings. Just like the heyday of the Chinese Communist Party, can roam the political arena of abuse of power. But the fifth bird was a tragic sight, crashing into the cliff, not only unable to take off but also fell. It is pitiful. This implies that Xi Jinping's government will also have its wings broken like the fifth white bird. Ladies and gentlemen, it is suggested that the map has revealed two things. One is that the Chinese Communist Party will have a great drought in the time of the white bird, which is this year. Second, everything will involve Mr. Xi Jinping. Under Mao Zedong, the people suffered because of the land reform and cultural revolution. Under Mr. Deng Xiaoping, intellectuals and young people had to blame themselves for the Tiananmen massacre. Under Mr. Zhang Zemin, cultivators were brutally persecuted because of religious persecutions. Under Mr. 
Hu Jintao's persecution activities still take place in silence and in secrecy. All four predecessors have retired behind the scenes, but the blood debt of nearly 100 years of history still needs to find a successor. Who would he be if not the last leader? Ladies and gentlemen, so far, if you follow the will of heaven, you will prosper, if you do not, you will suffer from the will of heaven. China is one of the prime examples. China has gone against Mother Nature, so now it has been revolted by heaven, earth and Mother Nature to punish China during the past 53 days and nights. China continuously suffers from heavy rains, typhoons, floods, earthquakes and tsunamis every year which cause extremely heavy damage to its people and China's economy is using it day by day. And all the news related to the China situation, we will continuously update and send you and the next newsletter. And today's program we would like to pause here. Wishing you a day full of health and happiness. Best regards and see you soon. The recent information on Shamas, the end of the comprehensive news bulletin for today, we will continue to update this past day. Information in the upcoming bulletin. Please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. For now, goodbye and see you again.